What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and Outriders goes to prove that it does not matter if you have the most popular IP in the world, if your gameplay is repetitive and boring, if your characters and your stories are complete garbage, people will not play your game. And when it comes to Square Enix and two of the most high profile things they've published in the last year, the failure that was Marvel's Avengers and the success of Outriders, we're seeing exactly that. Because this new IP Outriders is absolutely dominating right Right now they're having massive server issues because they did not expect this volume of people to be playing this game a new IP as opposed to Avengers and the failure that was Marvel's Avengers coming off the biggest movie of all time in Avengers Endgame when hype should have been at an all-time high Marvel's Avengers is a failure and a great disappointment and has lost Square Enix money up to this point. But look at what Outriders is doing. You see the all-time peak only three days into this launch, 113,000 people. Now you'll also see a lot of massive dips here. A lot of massive dips on these Steam charts because they are having big server issues. And that is a real problem, to be quite honest with you. They deserve criticism because when you look at their, their Twitter, they've been very transparent about it. They have. They've been as transparent and give as much information as possible. But they have had a lot, a lot, a lot of server issues. And it's very frustrating for people that want to play this game. One of the reasons it's frustrating is because even if you want the single player experience, you still still have to play online which is very frustrating for a lot of people one thing that people wish they would change that you could just do an offline mode if you don't intend to play co-op or you don't intend to play with people a lot of criticism out there for outriders right now over that but again like like kotaku says and i don't really like to use kotaku for a whole lot Outriders launches to a day of server problems like every other online game unfortunately that has become like the standard for games when they have a big launch there's going to be server problems and it is really frustrating and really annoying that they can't anticipate that but at the same time that is kind of the standard now in gaming very very unfortunately and when you look at what outriders has done like go back to these steam charts here 113,000 people. This brand new IP, it doesn't really do anything revolutionary. It's a lot of things that you've experienced in other games before. It just does it all pretty well. The story's not, uh, the super's not, story's not super great or anything. I only played the demo, so I really just started getting into it. I probably am going to play this game in the future with as many people as are playing it and with as much positive feedback as I have heard about the game. It's a game that's done competently and it is a lot of fun. And that's all that people are looking for in a lot of ways when they play these games as opposed to trying to make it a live service like we saw with Marvel's Avengers and relying on your IP because when you go to Marvel's Avengers you see the all-time peak for that less than 30,000 we're talking about a quarter of what a brand new IP and Outriders does they're both one's a looter beat em up one's a looter shooter but they're both looters but one is meant to be a live service the other's not the other's a self-contained game with possible plans for expansions with significant expansions with self-contained stories. No plans for monetization. Just a single game that you buy, you pay 60 bucks for, or 70 bucks, whatever it is, and you play the game. You have the experience. There is potential. You can play co-op if you want. You can play with other people online. Or you can just play it by yourself. Outriders is a great success right now, despite all the server problems, and there is going to be some negative feedback from people about that. Deservedly so. But it goes to show that if you prioritize, you know, getting a solid, semi-polished game, just, just a good, solid story, nothing incredible, that people will come to it. As opposed to relying entirely on your IP. Pushing characters that nobody's interested and just trying to use the name of Marvel's Avengers to sell your stuff. Hopefully, uh, you know, Square Enix will learn from this, the publisher. Different companies develop these, quite obviously. But uh, we'll see if uh, Square Enix takes more this road instead of trying to monetize things for this live service garbage they try to do with Marvel's Avengers. Maybe they'll just take make a good single player experience... And then have a lot of people enjoy it and celebrate and buy that game. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. Have you played Outriders? Are you having server problems? Let me know in the comments. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Oh,